Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh K YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create column with base plate in the clause structures with this example. Now this PDF example is available in my website. Please go to my website. I will provide this link in the description below of this video. Please go through it and come here and scroll it down. You can see now we have PDF example at here. Practice this example along with this video. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures with Indian environment. Now we're going to open our example. So in our example, we have a column with ISMB 450 with the length 5500. So open Tecla structures. Now select this column and for example, click on here to place the column. Right click on most interrupt. Now I'm going to create views. So click on grid, right click on mouse, create views along grid lines, then enter here elevation on grid. Similarly, we're going to enter here elevation on grid. Now click on create, then click on OK and click on OK. Now I'm going to edit this column. So click on this, double click on this column. Now you'll get this uh, column property window. In our example, we have column profile ISMB 450. So click on here profile catalog and select this ISMB 450. Then click on apply. OK. Now click on modify to see the result. You can see now this profile should be ISMB 450. Now coming to column height. Now we have bottom level 0 and top level 5500. So scroll it down and take bottom level 0 on top level 5500 then click on modify you'll get like this now coming to column orientation now click on window and select this view list let's take planet zero and click on this arrow to open now close this window you can see now we have column vertical direction but in our example we have horizontal direction so under rotation option select here and 90 degrees click on modify to rotate 90 degrees like this now close this window here Click on space, right click on mouse, shade view. Click on window and select this 3D view. You can see currently we have shaded view. To get render view, use the shortcut control 4 like this. Now we're going to create base plate at the bottom of this column. Like in our example like this. So go to application components by using the shortcut control F or you can click on here. In search bar type 1014 number component. You can see you will get this stiffened base plate 1014 connection. So select this component and pick the main part as a column and pick the position at gradient section point to create base plate. Now right click on mouse interrupt. Now close this window here. Click on space, right click on mouse, redraw view. You can see now I have base plate like this. Currently we have shaded view, this component. To get render view, use the shortcut shift 4. Now I'm going to edit this connection. So double click on it to adjust this window. You need to use screen controller so double click on the screen control to open the software i will provide the link in the description how to download and install this software screen controller you'll get like this now click on here and drag and place it here now click on this window use this arrows to move right and left and down and upward direction like this okay now click on this parts tab in parts you can control this plate thickness in our example we have plate thickness 16 millimeter base plate so enter here 16 millimeter then click on modify to see the result here you can see now base plate thickness should be 16 millimeter now go to anchors tab in anchors you can control anchor rod size so click on here and click on this circular section plus symbol now select this rod in our example we have rod profile 20 dia so enter here 20 now click on apply ok similarly we're going to take nut profile also here so scroll it down and click on here click on this option nut and select nut m20 click on apply ok now to display anchors in the model you need to select here base plate with anchor rod now 
click on modify to see the result so click on here modify you can see now we have anchors like this in our example we have l band anchors with length 450 so click on here and select l band anchor and length 450 now click on modify to see the result you can see you'll get like this now coming to this projection top of base plate to top of the anchor we have 50 millimeters so by default we have 50 and uh, let's take the thread length 100 millimeter then click on modify now to display nut and washer profiles in the model you need to click on here and select s and click on here to s and then click on modify you'll get nut and washer profiles like this now click on this window go to bolt step in bolts you can control the bolt size here 20 and tolerance 4 clearance between anchor and hole now click on modify to see the result now coming to this option middle these two options should be at middle to place the base plate exactly at the middle of this column now coming to spacing you can see this is the base plate length and this is the width in the length direction we have edge distance 50 so you need to enter here edge distance 50 and at the bottom also 50 like this now coming to here you need to enter number of bolt columns in the lengthwise direction you can see 1 2 3 4 5 so enter here 5 and we need to enter here spacing 125 150 150 and 125 the bolt spacing between these two anchors so enter here 125 150 and 150 and 125 now click on modify to see the result you can see now we have number of anchors number of bolt columns here 1 2 3 4 5 and now coming to spacing here edge distance 50 and 125 and 150 150 and 125 and 50 now coming to widthwise direction in the widthwise in our example we have 50 then 100 130 100 and 50 so when it enter here edge distance 50 first now click on modify you can see now we have edge distance 50 now coming to number of columns in widthwise 1 2 3 4 so when it enter here 4 and now we need to enter here spacing here so 100 130 and 100 so enter here 100 and give space and 130 and give space and 100 click on modify you'll get like this now coming to the stiffeners so click on window and click on here and go to stiffness tab in stiffness you can control this stiffener length and width so for example in our example we have stiffener length 150 here so let's take here 150 and now coming to width in our example we have width 100 millimeter here so take here 100 then click on modify to see the result you'll get like this we don't require this chamfer at the corner so enter here 0 click on modify to remove the chamfer here now coming to top chamfer value in our example we have 50 50 so you need to take here 50 50 and 50 now click on modify to see the result by default we have 50 50 now coming to this stiffeners by default we have stiffeners at flange direction along flange direction so directly enter here length 150 and width we have 140 so enter here 140 now click on modify you can see now we have height 150 and width 140 now we don't require this corner chamfer so enter here 0 and top chamfer we have 50 now click on modify to see the result you'll get like this now coming to thickness of the stiffeners click on this window and move downward direction go to parts tab 
in parts you can control the thickness of the stiffeners for example in our example we have the stiffener thickness 8 millimeter both stiffeners so this web plate stiffeners these stiffeners we can call it as a web stiffeners because this stiffener placed along the web direction so enter here 8 thickness now click on modify to see the result you can see now this thickness should be 8 millimeter now coming to these stiffeners these are the flange stiffeners so we need to enter here flange plate stiffener here 8 millimeter now click on modify to see the result you can see now we have this plate stiffener should be 8 millimeter okay now click on modify apply okay click on space right click on mouse redirect okay now i'm going to measure this column height and plate thicknesses and spacings according to this example first of all we need to measure this total length of this column 5500 so go to click on window and select this view list and select this elevation on grid 1 and click on here to open now click on edit and select this measure and select the vertical distance and pick the first point here and zoom it here pick the second point at the bottom of this base plate and click on here to place the dimension it should be 5500 according to this example now coming to this base plate thickness 16 millimeter zoom it here till click the first point here and pick the second point here and place it here to place the dimension 16 millimeter like this now coming to anchor total length 450 so click on here and select this vertical distance pick the first point here and pick the second point at the bottom of this anchor and click on here to place the dimension now we have 450 now we have projection 50 millimeter so zoom it and pick the first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension it should be 50 now coming to this chamfer values pick the first point and pick the second point and click on here 50 millimeter similarly we're going to take horizontal chamfer value so click on here and select this horizontal distance and pick the first point and pick the second point and click on here we have 50 millimeter now coming to this in the top view so right click on mouse interrupt now click on space right click on mouse redraw view to erase all dimensions now click on window and select this plan view plan at zero click on space right click on mouse redraw view now we're going to measure the horizontal and vertical spacing between the anchors so click on this measure and select this horizontal distance and pick the first point and second point at the anchor and middle click on here to place the dimension now we have 50 millimeter similarly we're going to check remaining spacing you can see now we have total length of this spacing here like this now similarly we're going to check in the vertical direction click on here and select this vertical distance and pick the first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension similarly we're going to check the remaining dimensions Right click on mouse interrupt. Now we're going to verify with our example 50, 125, 150, 150, and 125, 50. Now coming to width wise 50, 100, 130, 150. Okay. Now click on space, right click on mouse view, click on window, and select this 3D view. Okay, that's it about how to create column with base plate in Tecla structures with this example.
If you like this video, please like it and share it. If you have any doubts, please comment below. For more tech law structure related videos, please go to my channel youtube.com slash sk I will provide this link in the description below of this video. Please go through it and come here. Under videos, you can find out so many tech law structure related videos. I hope these videos might be helpful to you. And at the top right corner, please click on subscribe button. If you subscribe, you will get notification or updates when uploading a new video. So please click on subscribe. Okay, thank you.